Good morning guys. I think I want to work on the horse trailer vents today. So these are pretty awesome. I remember having these on uh, when I was a FedEx courier many many years ago. We had these on the FedEx trucks and they worked awesome. So that's what gave me the idea for this and I figured out after looking at Abel out here the best spot to mount these so we'll have passenger side and driver side so right in this area right here on both sides same area and so I scrubbed down the cab this morning and I need to do layout on it and then uh, hole saw four corners and then peanut grind a center section out file everything down test fit it make sure it's gonna fit and then Volcom or Sikaflex it on there and then drive some screws through it and then paint the outside of it so shouldn't take too long but I want to make sure I do it right because you only get one chance so here we go all right guys I got my marks laid out you can see up here I made some fine tuning adjustments for the width, but it's the outside rectangle that I want. And then I, this is the second one I did. I knew the exact location and dimensions, so I just went over the area that needs to be cut up. So I'm going to hole saw the four corners out and then use a peanut grinder to grind that center section out. Alright guys, I got the uh, holes, the corners drilled out, and it's time to go to town with the peanut grinder. So here goes nothing. Alright, I got both of these cut out. I did screw up a little bit on one of the cuts, which is alright, the flange will cover that up, and the Volcom or the Sikaflex will seal it up. But I, I test fit it on and they fit in there, so... I'm going to start getting them set up to go in, get the screws in them, and seal them up. Alright guys, I got those mounted and sealed. It's my first time using Sikaflex. This stuff goes on like birthday cake frosting. I understand why it's so expensive now. It's so smooth, and then you just, all the excess, you just smear it around with your fingers. And then later on, I plan on painting it. I'm going to vacuum out the windshield that's got some uh, metal shavings on it, lower the cab back down, and then seal up the turret. Alright guys, I sick of flex the uh, turret cover, had a couple of small leaks on it, probably because of the missing uh, bolt heads, but I'm not sure. So we'll try this first and then uh, if needs be we'll continue to add to that. As far as inside the cab goes, got it all vacuumed out, and this is what they look like on the inside. Not very pretty, but extremely functional, because these will open in any direction you want. You want to have air forced on you, you can do that. If you want to uh, ventilate, suck air out, you can do it that way one on each side pretty handy ventilation and they're only 35 bucks a piece on Amazon look for uh, horse trailer vents I think is what they call them they're made out of aluminum pretty awesome I'll uh, probably get some paint on the exterior where I put the Sikaflex on and paint the whole turret cover but I think I'm gonna cut this episode off here got some other things I want to work on this weekend and I will catch back with you guys next time all right bye bye Hey guys, I went for a run and got energized and motivated, so I decided to do a bit more for today, and I'll show you what I got going on. I took an old, the old, uh, this was part of the um, communication shelter when I first got it. It was an access box. It's still accessible. It's got a panel on the back, but, but the main thing is it's got vents on it. So I mounted that up there, 
and eventually our Wavasto or S-Bar diesel heater will go up there. But here's what I have going on. <clears throat> I mounted uh, two 8-inch, I guess they're normally used for radiators, radiator fans. And uh, I've got a couple controllers I'm going to hook up to them. One of them is like a thermostat. I don't know if they have the right amperage, so I'll have to look at them and see. But one of them controls the fan speed. So, basically, uh, just got to get these uh, wired. And I've got a space left on my little uh, fuse panel there. So I'll get those wired up and see how they work. All right guys, I got this fan set up wired. I'll show you. Everything's in Celsius, so center here is the actual temperature. This is when you want the fans to start, and this is when you want the fans to turn off. This right here is a motor controller, so that switch right there is basically a reversing switch. It'll reverse the flow of fans. Right now I have them blowing out but this right here turns up the speed of the fan see so you can get crazy with it but I just have it set on a really you know low setting but anyhow um so it looks like it's 30 degree 30 degrees Celsius right now in here and if you mess around with this thing let's go up to See, it's on stop because it hit the exact temperature when you match them up like that. That's what happens. So, but if you want it to drop the temperature even further, you just set it like that. And then if you hold the set button down, it turns off everything. So kind of a neat little unit. And this, these type of electronics are really inexpensive, but if you buy this as a kit, like let's say you buy a RV ventilation fan for the roof or something like the Max Air ones or stuff, they're really expensive. This whole setup cost me less than 50 bucks. It's basically a 12 volt relay that this controls the relay and then the relay provides power to the D-Rock motor controller which controls the direction and the speed of the fans and then the fans just run when the uh, temp desired temperature is reached. They shut off. So, kind of a nifty little setup. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, it's an inexpensive way to create ventilation in a shelter like this. I do have house power hooked up to the AC because it's like 90 degrees out today and I've been working in here. But uh, I think it's a pretty cool little setup. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I'm going to do a cleanup and head in the house. It's getting too warm out here. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.